family in Chesapeake ripped apart by violence. Stephen Julian is facing murder charges after admitting he killed his parents and then threatened to kill other relatives. This happened last night on Chadswick Road. Clark and Sally Julian's murder isn't the first time a child has killed relatives in Chesapeake. Janu Her shows us the other times this sadly happened. Well, David, just a tragic situation all around. In the last year and a half, sadly, this sort of crime has happened three times. At the beginning of last year, it was the Dooley family. Then in August, the Toothman family. And last night, it was the Julians. Facing two counts of murder, Stephen Julian from Chesapeake sits in jail after admitting he killed his parents, Sally and Clark Julian, and then threatening to kill his aunt and uncle. It's a crime that has shaken this family. The uncle, who came face to face with Julian before wrestling the gun away, calls this tragic and unexpected. A tragic shooting that the city of Chesapeake sadly has seen before. In about a year and a half, three times where a child has turned a gun on family. In January of 2016, Cameron Dooley shot and killed both of his parents, his brother and sister, and grandmother before taking his own life. His father, Todd, was a police officer for more than 30 years. We talked to a doctor shortly after that shooting who says most cases like this could be linked to depression or some sort of mental illness. It's a real sense of despair. They're tired of hurting. They're tired of feeling that the way that they feel. But this Sentara doctor says sometimes warning signs aren't always evident. It's unclear if Cameron Dooley suffered from a mental illness, and it's unknown if Zachary Toothman does too. He's charged with killing his father, Michael Toothman, and his younger brother, Matthew, in August of 2016. His mother, Susie, was shot, but she survived. Like Todd Dooley, Michael Toothman was also a police officer of more than 30 years. In each shooting, Family and friends told 13 News Now there were many questions and few answers. Some families still waiting. Now, Clark Julian worked for the Christian Broadcasting Network. In a statement, CBN says they are reeling from this tragedy and are praying for the family. Stephen Julian worked for Sentara Norfolk as a lab technician. We're told he's placed on administrative leave. A court date hasn't been set yet for Julian. Chinuher, 13 News Now.